kids, welcome to today's Tuesday Tales. I'm Miss Holly and today I'm going to read to you Jack and the Beanstalk. Are you ready? Let's go. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Jack. Jack lived in a tiny little house in a tiny little town with his mother and his pet cow, Daisy May. Jack and his mother didn't have much money, and one day after finding their cabinets empty, Jack's mother sent him to the market to sell his cow so they could buy something to eat. And so Jack sadly set off with Daisy May to the market. Along the road, he came across a little old man sitting under a tree. That's a beautiful cow, the man said to Jack. Daisy May is the best cow. The best? Would you consider trading her to me? The man asked. Jack thought about it and decided his mother would be okay with a trade as long as he came back with something they could eat. What would you trade me? Well, said the little old man, I have these magic beans that I would be willing to trade for such a nice cow. Beans? Jack's stomach rumbled and he decided his mother and him could eat the beans for dinner. So he traded Daisy May and he started home. When Jack arrived home to his mother, he happily pulled out the bag of beans and he, that he had traded for his cow. That is all you got? Five little beans? She wasn't as happy as Jack thought she would be. His mother angrily threw the beans into the yard and that night, Jack went to sleep with an empty stomach, missing his Daisy May. The next morning, when Jack woke up, he walked out into the yard to do his chores and ran smack into a huge beanstalk. Wonder what could be up there, Jack thought. It could be more beans. So he started to climb. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed he climbed for nearly an hour. Finally, Jack reached the top of the stalk, right through the top of the clouds in the sky. And at the top of the stalk was a giant castle. Wow, he said. He went to the castle and he knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Finally, a little lady peeked out. What are you doing here, she shrieked. I'm looking for something to eat, Jack replied. You can't be here. The giant will be coming home soon. You must. But before she could finish, the ground began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. Quick, hide. The little lady hid Jack around the corner. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a stinky man. The giant searched and searched for the source of the smell, but he didn't find Jack. So he sat down and he shouted, bring me my goose. The little lady brought him a goose while Jack watched from around the corner. Lay eggs, goose, the giant demanded. Jack watched in amazement as the goose started laying golden eggs. Then the giant shouted, Bring me my ook. Again, the little maid returned, this time with an ukulele. Play ook, the giant shouted. Then Jack watched in amazement as the ukulele started playing music on its very own. After a while, the giant fell asleep and the little maid rushed Jack out the door. Now leave, and if you're smart, you won't come back. Jack made a quick decision and he stole the magical goose from that mean old giant. He started down the stalk, down and down, Jack and the goose went. Finally at the bottom, he jumped down and he showed his mama the magical goose and how it laid eggs made of gold that they could trade for food. But the story doesn't end here, kids. A week later, the magic goose flew away. Jack's mother told him they had enough eggs, but Jack wasn't happy with that answer. He climbed back up the stalk to see what else he could get from the giant. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed. 
He climbed for nearly an hour. Jack ran to the castle and he knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Finally, the little lady peeked out. What are you doing back? You stole his goose. He knows you were here and he was very angry. He will be even more mad this time. But before she could finish, the ground began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. Quick, you must hide. The little lady hid Jack around the corner. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of that stinky man. The giant searched and he searched for the source of the smell, but he couldn't find Jack. So he sat down and he shouted, bring me my ook. The little lady brought the giant that magical ook. Play ook, the giant shouted, and Jack watched again as the ukulele played until the giant fell fast asleep. Let's go. Jack looked up to see the little maid rushing towards him with the ukulele in her hands. I'm not staying here to see how angry he gets this time. I'm coming with you. So they rushed with the magical ukulele out the door. But before they could get far, the giant woke up. The music had stopped and was no longer keeping him asleep. Boom, boom, boom. Bring me back my ook, the giant cried. Jack and the little maid ran and they ran. When they reached the stock, Jack took the ook from the little lady and told her to go first. She started down and Jack followed. They climbed down and down and down. Boom, boom, boom. The giant stopped at the top of the stock. He was afraid of heights, so all he could do was stomp his feet and it shook the ground like thunder. Boom, boom, boom. The giant shook the stalk angrily, trying to shake Jack and the little lady off, but they reached the bottom safely. Just then, the giant gave a big heave and the stalk pulled right up from the ground. Jack's mother hugged him and told him he was a fool for going back when they had so much already. He showed her the magical ook, and he, his mother, and the little lady danced until dinner time, and they lived happily ever after this way. But what about the giant? He's still stomping around in the sky, searching for a way to get down to his magical ukulele. And that's why they say we have thunder. So kids, make sure that you tune in next week for another Tuesday tale, and stop by the library for more books on Jack and on instructions on how to build your very own beanstalk.